on guys I'm making this video to show you guys some of the things that you have to do when you are out here on the road um, some situations come up and you have to do what you gotta do right and in this example I'm gonna show you how to do an A2 split or the eight hours of the A2 split part and the reason I'm doing that was because when I first got my load I immediately knew what I had to do just in case the shipper did not have the load ready which had happened so when I got the load I pre-planned it real quick then I said to myself okay if I can get down to the shipper as soon as I can and then put myself in the sleeper berth for eight hours it'll give me the time back that I had when I stopped so if I only had if I had five hours left to drive when I stopped after I did eight hours of sleeper then I would get five hours back so my clock would come back the same way it was prior to me starting my uh, eight hour sleeper shipper sleepy bird or you know do your thing at the shipper reset or whatever sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do but anyways I'm, I'm just trying to explain a little bit of why you would do something you know like this um, so I'm gonna show you my clock right now I started my clock about 10 32 this morning and I'll show you that on the Qualcomm and I'm going to show you everything you need to know as far as what I did and what I'm going to do. All right, guys. I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, let me know. I know this is a, a, a video I haven't posted yet because this is something that I want to make sure I get it right. Because if I don't explain it properly, then, you know, a lot of people not going to, they're not going to be able to do it properly. So, again... The eight hours uh, sleeper berth has to be continuous, and that's part of the eight two split. So this is something you can do if you want to stop your clock and you need to get going ASAP, then you can do that. So in my case, I'm gonna tell you about my case. So I got here about two o'clock, and the appointment is not for six. They said I cannot check in till six p.m. and so I'm already thinking if I cannot check in until 6 p.m. if I wait four more hours 
then I'll get an 8-2 split. Because my appointment is between 1 a.m. the next day and 7 a.m. So that means I'm going to have to run overnight. Sometimes we don't want to drive overnight, but it's what we got to do. So um, let me explain that with showing you pictures of the clock. All right, guys. And again, I'm just explaining this so you guys know what I'm talking about and, and whatnot. So, all right. All right. So this is what my clock is going to look like here. Let me show you guys. So my clock says that I've been in a sleeper berth for an hour and 27 minutes. And prior to that, um, and it, and it says that I started my sleeper berth at 1318 central time, but I'm in Eastern time that would equal to 1418. All right, guys. So I've been in the sleeper berth for an hour and 27 minutes. My appointment is not until 6 p.m., which is 1800. So that's already four hours, half of the eight hour sleeper berth. So all I gotta do is wait eight, uh, wait four more hours, and I will complete my eight hour sleeper berth and then get my clock back. Now, when I say get my clock back, my clock is gonna come back just the way it was before me going to bed. Obviously, the 14 hour clock has already ran down an hour and 28 minutes so and the reason I say this right here because an hour and 28 minutes is where I've been on sleeper birth but the, the clock is going to come back the way it was which it's going to tell me that I have 8 hours and 40 minutes left to drive and it's gonna tell me that I got um, 10 hours and some change left to of my 14 hour all right guys so how do you know what time you started your clock you go to you can go over here to certify and then you go to date the date you're driving which is 7 8 and right there it says I started my clock at 9:32 Central Time. Again, the Qualcomm is based off Springfield, Missouri, Central Time. So, in, that would equate to 10:32 this morning. So, what I said to myself, "Ooh, I got to get this load. I got this load. I'm going to get down there to the shipper and um start my 8-hour sleeper berth because I already know just in case they don't take me I was already reading the notes and the notes say that they wouldn't take me early and this and that and whatnot. So I was already prepared for that. And you see the off duty and now we're in, uh, some change. That was because I stopped and took a shower and got some to eat. Well, so I got here. I drove an hour and 37 minutes first and then drove another 41 minutes after the shower. As you can see that. Then... When I got here, I put myself in the sleeper berth. All right, guys. As you can see that, I've already been in the sleeper berth for an hour and 29 minutes. Again, the eight-hour sleeper berth has to be continuous. There cannot be any break in between. So the clock, after I do complete my eight hours, the clock is going to come back and tell me, that I have eight hours and um, 40 minutes on my 11 hour driving. And then it's gonna tell me 10 hours and 10 hours on some change. We'll see though, because you can see the 14 hour keeps on ticking down. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lay down um, or try to lay down actually, you know, cause I slept all night, delivered this morning and and whatnot, so get my um, eight hour sleep birth and then go from there. So here I am. 
I just got up about an hour ago. I set my alarm for 5.45, checked in like they told me. I dropped the empty trailer and I hooked up to the loaded one and um, did the paperwork, did the pickup, drop trailer inspection report, everything. Um, and I parked over here because they got overnight parking. So the lady said I could park over here, why not? So um, when I finished all that, I had about six hours on my clock and it continued to count down and I'll show you that. But I decided not to go ahead and go because I needed my full clock, being that I was going to be going into Virginia, so I need uh, all the time that I can get, and I didn't want to hit rush hour and everything, so I'll be driving tonight, less traffic and on the road and whatnot, so let me show you the clock. Alright, so this is what the clock looks like now, and it says that I've been in the sleeper berth for 4 hours and 30 minutes which we're looking to get um, eight hours continuous. I just did my drop and hook at the shipper, so I'm ready to go as soon as my eight hours hit. And um, this is what my clock is looking like now. So when I got my paperwork and my load, the clock said six hours and six hours and some change on my 14 hour clock. But as you notice, that clock is continuously going down because remember guys I started my clock at 10 32 this morning so from 10 32 I have 14 hours to drive the 11 hour clock but we're not doing that so I'm gonna wait three more hours three and a half hours I should say to complete my eight hour break and then I'm gonna start driving and then you know finish out my clock or get to my receiver and again the reason I'm doing this is because one I'm traveling through uh, Baltimore area you know all that traffic and right now it's about 6 30 6 I mean 6 45 7 and rush hour it's probably end 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 of the rush hour so I don't want to hit that any of that traffic so I'll just drive I'll just drive tonight and whatnot so so yeah that's what I'm doing and I'll get back with you guys later on tonight after I take another power nap <laughs> I took a power nap earlier so I'm gonna take another one all right Alright guys, as you can see, I've been in the sleeper berth for 8 hours and 7 minutes, and this is what my clock looks like. 8 hours and 40 minutes to drive, and I have 10 hours and 14 minutes. And if you remember right, I was telling you that I was going to get 10 hours and some change. So, so yeah, that's, that's what the clock looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over there now. I'm about 250 miles, and then I will get to my destination with ample time on my clock and we should be good all right guys so that's the eight hour sleeper berth which is part of the eight two split all right so this is something you have to do whenever you get to a shipper and they hold you over for longer periods of time than expected so <laughs>
show you what I'm going to do now is the eight, the two hours sleep at birth. So I put myself in the sleep at birth for two more hours and then we'll see what the clock looks like then. And then that'll complete that full A2 split. All right. And this is what the lock, the clock looks like now. So I've been in the sleeper berth for three hours, and this is what my clock looks like. I had five hours and 42 minutes, and I had 14 hours, five hours and 20 minutes, something like that. Thank you.